This video is a demonstration of an experiment to study thermal properties of materials using differential scanning calorimetry technique. Differential scanning calorimetry DSC, is a frequently used technique in thermal analysis. It is used to study materials by measuring temperatures and heat flows associated with phase transitions or chemical reactions as a function of time. DSC is useful in finding the properties of various types of materials such as plastic, polymers, organic and inorganic compounds and mixtures, biomolecules etc. In principle, DSC determines different amounts of energy absorbed, endothermic, or released, exothermic, by a sample relative to a reference as it is heated or cooled. DSC provide quantitative and qualitative information about a sample change such as endo or exothermic processes, enthalpy change, heat capacity. DSC technique has a variety of uses in industries including food, pharmaceutical, cosmetics, petrochemical products, paper, printing, manufacturing, agriculture, semiconductors, and electronics as most materials exhibit some sort of transitions. DSC is widely used in many analytical, process control, quality assurance and R&D laboratories. Figure shows a simple schematic diagram of DSC apparatus that illustrates the operating unit connected with computer controlled unit. The operating unit contains a heating device or the furnace disk. On the left side, a sample with known weight prepared and sealed aluminum pin and on the right side, the reference, an empty pan without sample, are placed in contact with separate heat furnace. Then, both pans are heated simultaneously at a constant heating rate and pressure. This figure shows a DSC thermogram for thermal transitions in crystallization on heating for a semi-crystalline polymer. The thermogram shows a curve between heat flow, in the y-axis, and temperature, in the x-axis. Here we can see three types of phase transitions. The glass and melting transitions are endothermic processes because both exhibit positive peaks. Heat is absorbed by the sample. The cold crystallization shows a negative peak indicating an exothermic process as heat released by the sample. The heat flow can be expressed as supplied heat, Q, per unit of time, T, as shown by equation 1. In equation 2, the heating rate is defined by the temperature change, delta T per time unit. We take the heat flow in equation 1 and divide with the heating rate in equation 2. Time T is cancelled. We got Q is divided by delta T that give the heat capacity as shown by equation 3. If we consider a very small change of heat and temperature at constant pressure, the heat capacity in equation 3 can be expressed as the derivative as dQ by dT at constant pressure or Cp. That is the heat capacity of the sample at constant pressure. The heat capacity of a sample can be measured from a DSC. For a compound undergoing a phase transition, its heat capacity is not constant during phase transition, but can have a significant change. For example, during a solid melting, such transition requires a great amount of heat with no temperature change. The enthalpy of the transition, delta H transition, can be determined by an integration of CP curve depicting the heat flow as a function of temperature from DSC thermogram. The objectives of this experiment are as follows. To determine the properties of sample using DSC technique. To analyze DSC thermogram and determine the temperature at which the sample undergoes phase transition of chemical reaction. To determine the enthalpy change from DSC thermogram. Materials and Equipments Differential Scanning Calorimeter Computer and DSC operating, analysis software, digital balance, four decimal digits, aluminum pen and lid, DSC sealing press, tweezers, spatula, sample manipulator, standard indium, for the calibration, nitrogen gas, and 
A studied sample. This figure shows differential scanning calorimeter on the left and computer operating and processing unit on the right. For sample preparation, we need 1. Crucible sealing press. 2. A digital balance with four demical digits of precision. 3. Spatulas. 4. Tweezers and crucible holder. 5. Funnel, needle and base, and 6. Aluminum pan. We are going to use a 40 microliter aluminum pan as a sample container.
Results and discussion for the calibration experiment are as follows. This figure shows the DSC thermogram of the standard indium. After data processing, the onset melting temperature was obtained, and the pica temperature and the enthalpy associated to fusion were determined. The DSC curve shows the fusion transition process with the melting point of 156.36 degrees Celsius for the indium under the present set of experimental conditions. The endothermic peak observed around 158 degrees Celsius suggests heat is absorbed by the sample. The narrow DSC peak with a certain width and uniform also indicates crystalline molecular structure and purity of the sample. We consider the peak a temperature instead of the onset temperature for a very broad DSC peak. The total enthalpy of fusion which is the peak area related to the energy necessary to melt the indium metal is 142.915 mJ. The enthalpy of fusion using indium sample is 28.1052 J per gram. Thank you.